Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you insert a new chart into a worksheet, it appears as an embedded chart object within the worksheet. When a chart is embedded in a worksheet, you can move it around within the worksheet and also resize it. Before you do this, however, you must ensure that you have the chart area selected. To select the chart area, either click into the blank area of the chart object to select the entire chart, or select the Chart Area Choice from the Chart Elements drop-down in the Current Selection button group on the Format tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. To move the chart, click and drag inside the Chart Area within the chart. The mouse pointer appears as a four-pointed arrow while moving the chart. When the chart is in the desired location, release the mouse button to drop the chart into its new worksheet location. To resize the chart, place your mouse pointer over one of the white resizing circles that appear at the four corners and the four sides of the selected chart object's border. When in the correct position, the mouse pointer then becomes a double pointed arrow. At that point, click and drag to resize the chart area to the desired width and height. You may instead want to show the selected chart as the only object within its own worksheet. Alternatively, you may want to move the chart to a different worksheet but still have it remain as an embedded object within the worksheet. To accomplish either task, select the chart area. Then click the Move Chart button that appears within the Location button group on the Design tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Doing this then opens the Move Chart dialog box which lets you decide where to place the chart. First select either the Option button for New Sheet or Object In as desired. If you choose New Sheet, type the name for the new worksheet into the field to the right of the Option button. This option places the chart as the only object within its own worksheet. This maximizes the amount of space available for plotting charted data. Alternatively, if you select the Object In Option button, then use the drop-down to the right of that Option button to select the name of the worksheet into which to embed the selected chart. After making your choice in this dialog box, click the OK button to move the chart. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.